Hello dear students, in the series of videos on mensuration for class 10th board examination, I am going to tell you one of the very very important problems which is very frequently asked in board exams. This is the problem of conversion of one solid into another solid. Now see whenever there is one solid and it is melted and recast into the shape of some other solid then the material which was contained in the first solid is same as the material which will be contained in the converted solid. So the volume of the material is same in both the cases. Now see in the first problem here I have taken a metallic sphere now there is a sphere obviously sphere has only one dimension that is its radius the diameter of the metallic sphere is 6 if the diameter is 6 that means the radius is half of this that is 3 now the sphere the dimension of the sphere is given now see it is melted and cast into a wire now what, what is the shape of a wire a wire we have to find the radius of the wire so that means the cross section is a circle and the length of the wire is given so what is the shape of the wire it is a cylinder so cylindrical wire and what are the dimensions of a cylinder it has a radius and it has a height length is 36 meters so length of the wire if you uh, see it like this that it is the length of the wire but if you see it like this it is the height of the cylinder so length of the wire is actually the height height is 36 meters this is given in centimeter and this is given in meters so convert this also in centimeters 3600 centimeters and we need to find the radius of the wire so capital R radius of the wire is to be found out now see all the dimensions are given except one so in the questions based on conversion of one solid into another this will be the pattern there will be two solids all the dimensions of one solid will be given and one of the dimensions of the second solid or the first solid will have to be found out now what you do in these cases is to equate the volumes see the volume of sphere will be equal to the volume of cylindrical wire so just put the formulas volume of sphere you all know 4 by 3 pi r cube just be careful that you have selected small r as the radius of the sphere so you need to put small r here and in case of cylindrical wire cylinder pi r square h so pi r r we have assumed capital r and h is small so pi r square h so we need to first write the two formulas of the two solids and then cancel out the value of pi a number of times students commit this error they find the volume of sphere first thereby using the value of pi and then they equate that volume with the volume of the second solid thereby using pi again so in these questions the value of pi gets cancelled automatically so you don't need to uh, calculate using lengthy calculations so pi gets cancelled now substitute whatever is given so 4 by 3 pi gets cancelled r cube r is 3 so 3 times 3 is equal to r square we need to find out r into h h is 3600 so our answer will now come in centimeters because we have converted meter into centimeters so 1 3 gets cancelled so this is 4 multiplied by 9 that is 36 is equal to r square into 3600 so r square will come out to be 36 upon 3600 that is 1 upon 100 or 1 upon 100 is the square of 1 upon 10 so square gets cancelled and the radius comes out to be 1 upon 10 centimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter which is the required answer now see another question based on this very important concept 
here we have a hollow sphere now see first figure is a hollow sphere now we all know that hollow sphere has two radii one is the internal radii and one is the external radii so i assume the two radii by capital r and small r the diameters are 6 and 10 so if the diameters are 6 and 10 then the radii are 5 and 3 external is 5 and internal is 3 so all the dimensions of the hollow sphere are given now it is being converted into a cylinder now the cylinder has two dimensions its radius and its height diameter of the cylinder is given so i assume this by r1 because capital r and small r i have already assumed so i assume the radius of the cylinder by r1 diameter is 14 so radius is Seven, and we need to find the height of the cylinder. Now again, you see, like in this case, all the dimensions except one were given. Here also, all the dimensions are given. We have to find the height of the cylinder. Now again, equate the volumes. See, volume of hollow sphere will be equal to volume of cylinder. what is the volume of hollow sphere outer volume minus inner volume what is the volume of sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube so r cube minus r cube is equal to volume of cylinder pi r square h just be aware that whatever is the radius of cylinder we have assumed here we need to put the same radius symbol in the formula so now again pi gets cancelled like in the first question so half of our half of our calculations are reduced when we cancel out pi because pi is a fraction so if we retain pi and use it often then the calculations are increased now put the values 4 by 3 into capital r is 5 so 5 cube is 125 small r is 3 3 cube is 27 is equal to r1 is 7 so 7 into 7 into h so 4 by 3 into this is 98 is equal to 7 into 7 into h now see 7 comes down here so we can cancel this out by 98 seven, seven one the seven, seven, uh, 28 7 7 28 7 for the 28 again 7 gets cancelled out by 2 so the height will come out to be 4 into 2 8 upon 3 or you can convert this into a mixed fraction 2 2 by 3 and the unit will be centimeter so the height is 8 upon 3 centimeter easy to understand concept with a practice of 8 to 10 questions of this type you can master this important concept of conversion of one solid into another very very common in board exams and very important at least 3 marks are allotted to such type of questions in board exams so keep learning keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it